Well, something literally smells fishy inside a Richmond Elementary School, and after weeks of moving students around to try to get away from the stench, they held a meeting to talk about what's next. Our Melissa Hippolyte was there. And Melissa, what did they conclude? Bill, school leaders say this report shows there is nothing unsafe about this building. But you know what? There's still a lot of uncertainty here. We still don't know what's causing this smell that led at least one child here to throw up. There's a report card. High five, buddy. Parents review their kids' report cards as they wait for the results of another type of report commissioned by Richmond Public Schools to get to the bottom of a foul smell permeating John B. Carey Elementary. Fingers crossed that's going to be, be good news. This is the part of the building where the stench has been detected. This classroom, this classroom, and then one across the hall. But I'm told that the smell has now spread to other parts of the building as well. It stinks very bad. It smells like raw eggs and fish. School staff first detected the odor more than a year ago, but even after spending $90,000 to get rid of the issue, they're no closer to finding its source. Bottom line, I can't tell you what's causing that smell. Still, Assistant Superintendent Tommy Kranz says the building is safe for students to stay in for the rest of the school year. And how can you say 100% of the building is safe? How do you know that? I've looked at the test results. I'm comfortable with the procedures we conducted. I'm comfortable with the companies we've used. Kranz says teachers at the school agreed to stay at Cary for the rest of the year after RPS said it would check if increasing airflow in the building would help. And then we're going to test the rooms, the, the building every single Monday at 10, 10 a.m. Same time, so we'll get good base data. Cran says if the stench doesn't go away by the end of the year, they will have to reevaluate and then possibly move the students. Working for you in Richmond tonight, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.